This is that message to you, the unvaccinated. Even if I were pollinated and fully vaccinated, I would admire the unvaccinated for withstanding the greatest pressure I've ever seen. From partners, parents, children, friends, colleagues, and even doctors. People who are capable of such personality, courage, and critical ability are undoubtedly the best part of humanity. They are everywhere, in all ages, levels of education, states, and ideas. They are of a special kind. They are the soldiers that every army of light wants to have in its ranks. They are the parent that every child wants to have and the children that every parent dreams of having. They are beings above the average of their societies. They are the essence of the people who have, well, built all cultures and conquered horizons. They are there, next to you. They look normal, but they are superheroes. They did what others could not. They were the tree that withstood the hurricane of insults, discrimination, and social exclusion. And they did it because they thought they were alone. And they believed that, well, they were the only ones. Banned from their families' tables at Christmas, they never saw anything so cruel. They lost their jobs, let their careers sink, had no more money, but they didn't care. They suffered immeasurable discrimination, denunciation, betrayal, and humiliation, but they kept on going. Never before in humanity has there been such a casting. Now we all know who are the best on the planet Earth. Men, women, young, old, rich, poor of all races or religions, the unvaccinated, the chosen of the invisible ark, the only ones who managed to resist when everything collapsed. That's you. You passed an unimaginable test that many of the toughest Marines, Commandos, Green Berets, astronauts, and even geniuses could not withstand. You are made of the stuff of the greatest who ever lived, those heroes born among ordinary men who glow in the dark. Remember, you're the voice, and it's time to make it count. I'm Brad Wilder. Thanks for watching. This is Canada News. Till next time.